What's up YouTube, NCG here bringing you a quick little breakdown, introduction and a small combo guide of Link Monsters. So, the OCG get this new mechanic, if that's how you want to pronounce it, or receive it, um, in about three days time. So they get these 25th of March. Us in TCG do not get it um, until June I believe, maybe July. Around that point. But basically this is the biggest change in my opinion to the Yu-Gi-Oh format ever. Pendulums were a nice change, but they, but they only affected specific ways, whereas Lynx affects every single deck. Less so than the ones that don't need to go into the extra deck, but they're still affected because they're then made stronger by Lynx, weaker by Lynx, stuff like that. So, these are the first initial five Lynx that have been announced. There are more Lynx that have been announced, and I will get some of those up here um, the second I've got proxies of them. Anyway, I'm going to take you through these five first, just so you get an idea, and I'll explain what links are. So, links are a new extra deck type monster. Um, now, the whole board is now changed. So, the board of Yu-Gi-Oh, um, you still have your five back row, you still have your five front row. However, you now have two extra spaces, I'll zoom out right up here, two extra spaces that go just above your monster zones around here, um, which is your, called your extra monster zone. Now, these are basically only there for your extra deck. So, ideally you want to get a link monster in there, and as you can see on the link monsters they have these little red indicators in certain positions on the card. They unlock positions on your monster zone and sometimes your opponent's monster zone where you can then put other extra deck cards in there. Um, now there's loads of different rules that have come out since this so I do advise you to look up links because they will change the game for you guys. Um, but without going into huge amounts of details and making it complicated, basically for you now to get, let's say, your Crystal Wing out or your um, Zodiac Dryden, you can put them in that space up there, but you've only got one. So ideally you want to get an Ilink monster from out from your deck, and then he unlocks two monster spaces there for you, and you go from there and so on and so forth. Um, they all have their own um, summoning attributes, like two Earth monsters, two or more effect monsters, Two Cyberverse type monsters, two or more monsters, one normal monster. Um, that's how you bring them out into your extra deck zone and continue to unlock from there. Right, so let's give you a quick rundown of what we have so far. So, Deco Talker, this is the card that comes out in the structure deck. It's two or more effect monsters. This card, oh, oh, sorry, I should also mention that monsters in the link zone cannot be flipped to face down defense position. As you see, they only have attack. Oh, if the camera focuses. Focus. They only have attack points, they don't have defense points. So Cyberverse, which is a new style of, well, not so much, a new new attribute that's been introduced. Um, this card gains 500 attack for each monster in it, in its linked zones, so those two there and plus that one there. Um, during either player's turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a card, cards you control, you attribute one of your monsters in this card's link zone, negate the activation if you do destroy that card. Um, now, I'm not too sure exactly where, because the, the links are coming in, uh, I think it's Code of the Duelist, so I don't know exactly what else is confirmed in the TCG version, so um, we'll just go through the other ones we have. So we have Honeybot, Focus okay, Camera, players, there we go. Two Cyberverse type monsters, neither player can target monsters in this card's linked zone with card effects. Also, those monsters cannot be destroyed by battle, so it's a protector. Uh, next up, Gaia Saber, the Video Knight. Just two normal monsters, that's it. Uh, sorry, two or more monsters. So very, very simple. So your tributes, when it says two or more monsters, you have to um, meet its requirements, which is Link 3. So for example, you can use a Link 2 and then one random monster, whatever you want. Or you have to use three monsters. So you deduct... The link, if you use another link monster, you deduct the, their links from that link. Um, if you're not using any more link monsters, you have to use that amount of monsters. Um, next up, we have Link Spider. There we go. There we go. Uh, one normal monster. Once per turn, you can specialize on one level four or lower normal monster from your hand to this card's link zone. Very straightforward, very simple on that one. And Missius Radiant. So, two Earth Monsters, all Earth Monsters on the field gain 500 attack and defense. All Wind Monsters on the field lose 400 attack and defense. 
If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can target one earth monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. You can only use the effect of Mysterious Radiance once per turn, and it's a two link. I'll show you a combo to get Mysterious Radiant out. Um, very, very easy without using your normal summon, and you can still plump it in zoos as well. So zoos will benefit massively from Radiant. So, that's kind of like the link mechanic. Now I'm just going to do a very, very simple um, combo. It has been announced that you can use tokens to bring out link monsters. So, what you're going to do is, no matter what you've got in your hand, especially I'm going to go through, bring out your two tokens. Let's use these. There's your two tokens. Tribute off one token for a link spider in your extra deck zone. You then tribute off your second token for your second link spider to put it into your new uh, link zone. Oh, let me zoom out so you can see that better. There we go. So you can now link your extra deck zone there. You take out both of these guys, you bring out your Mysterious Radiance, and your Mysterious Radiance then unlocks those two spots. So you've got to be very careful where you place your go-through down um, in your zones. But now you have two spaces there. So let's say you've got a Zodiac Rat, you have a normal summon or a barrage, whatever. You go normal summon there, uh, effects, and then you start XYZ in there, and you just go off from there. Very, very straightforward, very, very simple, um, that kind of plays. Now, there are loads of videos, well, I'm not saying loads of videos, but there are a couple of videos on the web at this moment in time that kind of explain more in-depth combos for links. Um, my personal opinion is, make yourself familiar with links, but don't worry too much about them. Not yet. Um, there's still a lot of time before links get fully enforced. We haven't even seen how the OCG are going to handle it. It is a massive change for the game, um, especially for Pendulum cards, because now your, back, your Pendulum zones aren't left and right. They're now at your back. Um, two of your spell and trap zones, so, oh, and um, you're, you can't pendulum someone from the extra deck, it's the exact same rules, they will need to go into link zones, but you can pendulum someone as many as you want from hand. So decks that return extra deck, face up extra deck pendulum monsters to the hand, like DDDs, will work really, really well, and uh, Dynamis, obviously Dynamis take a hit because they can't go into Toad and Shark as easy, but they're still very, very viable. So these are links. These are the brand new get to know, you know, format of the game. Uh, there are concerns that it's going to slow down the game, but if you check out Jeff Jones's uh, video, you can find out that that is not the case. It is a bit more strategic, a bit more thinking about what you're doing, and especially a bit more thought into where you place the link monsters um, and where you place your monsters in general. Um, now I will say this: there are two zones up here. Uh, for your link zones, but you can only use one of them. Your opponent gets the other. So you need to think very, very carefully where you place. If you go first and can get your link monster, you need to think very, very carefully where you place that monster. Um, because your opponent's then going to get the other one. So take your time, think about it, check into links. Um, I will be bringing you more up here. I will be getting you like some certain combos for specific decks. Um, just to show you that the game is not dead. It is very, very, very much alive and it will still be fun and entertaining. It just means you have to use your brain power a little bit more. So, you know, simple as that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to do like, comment, subscribe, share. Until next time, guys, see ya.